There's not a damn one on this planet who is a, 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 a like one of those neocon dorks like Ben Shapiro. That's not what capitalism not a single means. One Anybody of the, hold who on, supports private ownership and means of production is a capitalist. That bullshit. That's a modernist bullshit cope by communists <laughs> and socialists to try and, modernist and, and yes, it's a modernist cope. They're tied together, right? When we talk about what the cause of these problems are, you want to blame them on democracy when fundamentally the problem is capitalism. And we can, and you can say that a monarchy wouldn't do capitalism, which is absurd, but fine. We can look at that. I didn't say that. You I'm just said that, that a monarchy wouldn't use capitalism. You just, you were saying that. No, what I'm saying is, is that, um, that the way it operates would be fundamentally different. In fact, it would probably revert to be more of a mercantile system. Sure, it again. would look more like China. Yeah, and China's not a capitalist system. Yes, it is. No. Absolutely. Have you been to it China? It's state capitalist it's not. by any means. It's state no. capitalist by any metric. There are absolutely no. a bourgeois no class. There are no, billionaires in China. There's not a damn China. capitalist on this planet that would say, there's not a damn one on this planet who is a, 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 a like one of those neocon dorks, like Ben Shapiro. That's not what capitalism not means. One Anybody of the, hold who supports on, private ownership and means on. of production is a capitalist. That bullshit. That's a modernist bullshit cope by communists <laughs> and socialists. To try and, and, and yes, it's a modernist cope. It's the a definition new... of capitalism is a modernist bullshit cope. If yes. we look through all history books and all philosophy of capitalism, how long that was how, ever how been developed? Is capitalism? Uh, it is two two hundred and fifty ish years old. No, it's not. Not even close. There's not. You can't find the word no. capitalism two hundred fifty years ago. It was mercantilism. No. Mercantil was the yeah, predominant. I never predominant form of economic means for nations on the planet now so the, the word reason capitalism... monarchy now uh, to bring this back to monarchy the reason monarchy would not use capitalism in the way that you are viewing it now is because they it's not capitalist if they if the if the centralized government fundamentally controls the economy in fact it's more like your socialist system they think no, capitalism. so okay, so there's a big difference here, right? So we're going to talk about two two big things. There's a private versus public sphere. That's its own diff separate conversation. It's the question of markets versus decommodification. China is pretty heavily on the state control side, right? It's definitely there. That's not the question. What we're asking about is whether there is democracy or whether there is a, a an owning class that makes money off of the labor of others. So when we look at this, China has that. They have the bourgeoisie, not just in the party, as like the USSR. This isn't a simple like because uh, the state capital, the party is the bourgeois argument. No, there are actual capitalists. There is a bourgeois class that works within China. They have China. no power or authority to make any decisions on behalf that of the Chinese people. A, They're used as the tools. People. They're used as tools I'm, to exert right. influence on behalf of the government. Right. That is True. not the same thing. Exactly. As no, that's capitalism. exactly what I'm. No, that's not. my point. That is exactly capitalism. That no, is it exactly isn't. Exactly that's a bunch capitalism. of bullshit. It's a socialist cope. Tommy <laughs> socialist cope to try I'm and make <laughs> everything that isn't okay. your very niche system into capitalism. You make anything no, that isn't that niche. No, because there's also feudalism. I can talk little... about how feudalism is different. Oh, bullshit. Yeah, whatever. Phoenix, Give me you gotta let him finish now. So here, here's the deal. It really comes down to this, is that a monarchism works and is the benefit to the people because it fundamentally has to care about what the people do and think and how the nation operates because wow. it's not married and doesn't isn't influenced by international um, bodies as much as other systems of government. You're not going to have a monarch that is going to sell his throne to some other to some rich dork like Jack Ma. Because Jack Ma comes and says, I, I can sell freaking cell phones to you, your people. He's not going to sell out his people like that because his money and power and authority comes from his nation. So his vested interest is making his nation rich and his people rich, not international capitalism. It's so funny because you keep like making appeals to democracy in your appeal for monarchy, right? It's his dedication to his nation, when, to his wait, people. Wait, where did I appeal for that? And you said that they have to you be You can't just say that. You got to demonstrate no, that. I, I, I am. Can I actually demonstrate it, please? Okay, thank Go you. Go ahead. 
Uh, so when you were saying that that this is the only system in which a monarch is account is a, in which the leader is accountable to their people, that's the point of democracy to actually make them accountable to their people. I agree with you that corporation international corporations put a, a, a stop on it, but look at China. China engages a lot with international corporations. They have this system. You, maybe you don't call it capitalist, but let's call it a market system in which a there is a ruling class that is incredibly productive, right? We'll just, we'll put it at that. We have this system in which a government can control. That system is most productive when it is able to work with international exchange. Thus, there is still going to be that relationship. Today, we have absolute monarchies. There are a few, there's six exactly. And all of them still engage in capitalism and international trade. Why? Because that is the only way to be massively productive. So when we actually wanna talk about Something. accountability to the okay. people why don't we talk about using a similar system a market system that we do see as productive but democratizing it giving, making both the economy both making the economy and the state democratic we want them both because when we have them both accountable to the people as my as jy keeps saying that the monarch is accountable to the people because nationalism basically that there's a national pride yes Sure, I'm, gl I'm glad that the nationalist principle is going to be a guiding principle that has always led to such good consequences. <laughs> like, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm and, glad and, that and, we, and, and Hitler, up, we love Hitler. Oh, let me bring up one example. One example in all of history. Oh, that's okay. all, you guys Hitler, always go to the fucking Mussolini, Hitler thing. It's Chipotle. embarrassing. How, Mussolini Japan. brought untold prosperity and peace to his people, but those aren't monarchs. We're debating monarchy, not whoa, fascism. Whoa, okay, wait, wait, fascism no, no, no. is a result Mussolini of getting rich. Hold on, you've got you got to go on and on and on. Man, you keep making fascism, hot hot takes. Fascism is a direct response to us, the merchant class, the 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 democratic class, Woodrow Wilson, and all these other U.S. presidents taking away the authority of the aristocrats, and because there was no balance of power against the merchant class, they took over those countries and the people looked for a leader who would be able to say, we're going to fight that. So uh, that is the reality there. It's pure. Um, so if we really want to take a look They're at cults this, of you, can, it's not you can look up the history of this. Mussolini originally was a socialist. However, there were capitalists in, uh, in Italy that were scared of a socialist uprising. So... Mussolini breaking off started a, uh, a fascism, which was a collectivist right wing ideology. Um, right, the capitalist class really, really liked this, so they were like, "Hey, we're gonna lift this one up. We're gonna say that this one is gonna since they hate socialists so much, they hate this is this is exact. You think Mussolini was a capitalist?" No, I'm saying that he was funded by capitalists. No, he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, okay, do you want... That's okay. again, this is again, this is the point. These socialist communist dorks will uh, always capitalism. point to any system that isn't theirs and say, that's a result of capitalism. The Mongol Empire, that's a result of capitalism. Oh, the Roman Empire, Nothing results of capitalism. capitalism. Every single thing that isn't their system is deri a derivative of capitalism or a result of capitalism. It's embarrassing. So I'm here's the reality. We're going to go it, back yeah. to this. You have not successfully demonstrated how. Hold on, I think my wife is calling me. Then you should pick that up, sir. I'm gonna give her one more chance. I already messaged her. I already texted her. So uh, okay. if she calls again, it's important. So. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> no, but, no fear. To no, take I know. I trust me, dude. I trust me. I've been married long enough. You don't want to. <laughs> the third one <laughs> is like that's the final straw. Uh, <laughs> so uh, no, the the point is, is you keep on going to these systems that just are not, uh, they just, they're not functioning. And you're, you're pointing to, well, the current system is flawed and it doesn't work, but we just need to democratize the economy too. Even though the democratic system that we have in place is what has resulted yeah, and sped up. Than anything else. Oh, really? Well, how's it work? Again, I've pointed it's worked out better than anything else. By again, so again, so we can you talk about religious liberty. I'm glad. I know that you don't uh, support like religious liberty, but I think that most people are like, "Hey, I like it when my Jewish friend doesn't go to jail or get killed. That's a pretty cool thing." Oh, uh, going um, back to Hitler, I get it. Even though that's not monarchy, but go ahead. No, 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 no. I wasn't going back to Hitler. I was going to freedom of religion. This happened under monarchies too. Do you not think that the Spanish monarchy? Yeah, but it's irrelevant because like, it's not because. <laughs> 
Yes, most monarchs were not going Only to just random. No, 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 no. Most monarchs were not going around to random religious minorities and saying, "Oh, you need to be. Uh, we're we're getting rid of you because you're not the same as us." That's just but that's a bunch of nonsense. You support. You said you don't support. No, I don't support liberty. freedom of religion. That doesn't mean that I support rounding up people because they believe differently. I mean, that just means that I believe that the state should have a religion or a at least a culture that they that they preference because that brings unity within a nation. But that's different than the conversation we're having now. Okay, what, what you're so trying to you do is divert to, to use... different topics other than monarchy. Keep on bringing up Hitler, no, okay. Mussolini, all so these no. others. <laughs> I'm talking Even about though they have nothing to do with monarchy. No, they absolutely do. Authoritarianism is it's is a distinct strain. Ah, uh, so now right? you can just so, now you just get to lump everything. So if if I were to say no, your because you is said you want authoritarianism, you said you support authoritarianism. It's a form of authoritarianism. Doesn't mean I support sure. every form of authoritarianism. That's just retard logic. Retard no. logic. I never said that you support every form of authoritarianism. Okay, then why are you there are consequences trying to... If I never said I support every form of democracy, but you're fucking pin using every modern example against what? me. So we can both use examples of the, each other's things and say, how do you I... account for these issues that arise in your not in your system? I have not we obviously aren't going to achieve your ideal. I've asked you which ones you support, and then I've attacked those ones.